Hello and welcome back to Astronomy and Photography, my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing a Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro uh, with the Rowan Belt mod already incorporated uh, by Rother Valley Optics where I bought the uh, mount from. So without further ado, let's jump straight to it, starting with the tripod. Right, so here we go then. Let's see what we've got in the box. Well protected in polystyrene, banded foam. Yep, as I said, suspected, these are the counterweights. Look at the fair amount of heft to them. So we'll just unbox the other one. Lovely, lovely type of paint on it. It's uh, nice, thick paint. That's good. First thing out of the box is the uh, the spreader plate the tripod. Also comes with a little spanner there. Then again, the polystyrene protected on it. And we've got the uh, bar for tightening up the uh, spreader plate. And the tripod itself, which is quite light actually. There we go. Won't make it any bigger than that because it will fall off the table. Nice finish on the legs. Good substantial ironwork at the top there. So uh, smooth the table out of the way and then we'll get it set up. Yeah. Now we come to the unboxing of the actual uh, mount head itself. So we've got uh, some blurb from rather Rother Valley Optics where I bought it from, promotional stuff. Uh, nice quality instruction manual, a quick look at this, pop it out the bag.
So there's an addendum telling me that the polyscope engraving might be different to what it is in the manual. There's a quick start guide on how to mount the dovetail and the telescope to the mount. A Skywatcher product card detailing various uh, optical tube assemblies and mounts that they do. Uh, a fairly substantial scene scan controller instruction manual and an equally thick uh, HEQ5 mount instruction manual so that's all very good um, with my other mount the Ioptron Sem 25P uh, you just got a very small not uh, slightly brochure that gave you basic instructions you had to download the manual from the internet so having the uh, manual with it uh, is already an improvement over the uh, the Ioptron mount. It's just one less thing you have to worry about. So this doesn't come in a protective case. Um, the Ioptron mount did come in a protective case but that was an, that was an optional extra over and above the standard package. So. That's the uh, little bracket to hold the SIN scan controller on the tripod legs. And inside here we have the mount head. It also comes with a nice uh, Skywatcher satin metallic green dovetail bar. This satin green colour is the latest uh, style addition that Ioptron, uh, Skywatch are doing for their mounts. Uh, it looks quite stylish. There's also the uh, two bolts for adjusting the uh, declination. The SIN scan controller. This is a bit bigger than the controller that came with the Ioptron as well. Uh, bigger buttons, slightly smaller screen. And then of course a whole bunch of cables, so we'll see what they'll do in a minute. And again, it comes with the Allen keys as well, which is good. Right, so here we are. Here's the mount head itself. Um, We'll get it all set up on the actual tripod and we'll see what the whole thing looks like together. I've taken the liberty of mounting my Williams Optics Z103 to the Skywatcher HEQ 5 Pro mount. So the mount comes with a standard sort of um, 12 volt car type plug on the end of it so that's what that box is providing on the uh, floor there that's got a 12 volt battery set up which I'll uh, probably feature in another video how I made that and the reason for doing that rather than buying one of the um, Skywatcher 17 amp hour battery packs so let's have a closer look So 
So the mount comes with a SINSCAN controller um, which plugs in here where it says hand controller and there's a 12 volt in as well and then on the other side of the uh, bank of sockets there's an auto guide port and an on off switch so it's very simple um, the mount head itself is very substantial but in many ways uh, simplicity is better over the um, what was slightly more complicated um, Ioptron 725P mount head. This also comes with two counterweights uh, whereas the Ioptron 725P only come with one counterweight so uh, given the size of the telescope and the setup um, the two weights are beneficial. This latest version also has the dual Vixen Losmandy um, dovetail arrangement. And you've got very simple clutch arrangements which just work. That's all there is to it. Again on the Ioptron you have to undo a clutch and release some springs which then lift the worm gear away from the uh, the drive so that was all very I mean it was good but it was quite a delicate arrangement as I'll explain later so there we go nice fluid motion I so I've already uh, pre-balanced this so if we loosen off the clutches You'll see it was very easy to balance as well. Um, no matter where I put it, that's where it tends to stay. So. All in all, um, it's a very easy setup. Let's get it slewing and uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear it. So this is the highest rate, this is rate 9, and obviously this is going to be the noisiest amount it's going to be at any one point in time. So. Let's put the rate right down to say number two now. 
and see how noisy it is now. Yeah, between rate 9 and rate 6 here, that when the telescope is moving, hopefully you should be able to change it, you should be able to see the angle is changing. Let's turn it down even lower. So this is rate 4. It is still slewing round this way, but at this speed it's perhaps almost imperceptible to tell it's even moving. Okay, so those um, those speeds didn't really work, did they? So at rate six, it is basically silent, um, and all the other speeds lower than six it is absolutely silent. So, uh, but I need to show you at a reasonable speed, otherwise you can't actually see the telescope is moving. So. Uh, There we go. So in terms of you know when you're outside observing, other than slewing to your alignment stars, which you probably do at the uh, the higher speed, your whole night's observing is going to be done pretty much silently. Which is really cool. And then obviously when you need to get a shifty on, you just up the speed again. Back to nine. You're good to go. So all in all, unboxing the mount, it looks to be a really good quality, robust, substantial mount and uh, hundreds of thousands of keen astronomers can't be wrong really. So uh, I look forward to getting out and getting it polar aligned once the weather turns nice again and uh, actually get out and do some observing and see what we can see in the night sky and there's just a few more odds and sods I need, I need to get like some uh, heater, dew heater straps stop the condensation forming and stuff like that but other than that we're good to go so uh, hopefully um, subsequent videos will be me outside um, perhaps doing the polar alignment and uh, starting my observing adventures in astronomy. Until then, um, clear skies everybody and I uh, hope to see you soon. If you've liked what you've seen please do consider subscribing, hitting the bell notification so that you know when I produce new video content and if you did like the video Please do give it a thumbs up. Until next time. Bye.